Now suppose I have one bromo cyclopropane. Now I want to get this compound out of one bromo cyclopropane. Now that D is uh, a isotope of hydrogen. Now how can you get that from one bromo cyclopentane? You should think of it and you should get the answer. The answer would be we can get it by various methods. For example, I can add zinc to this and instead of HCl I can use DCl. This would be one of the options or else I can add zinc to it and I can use D2O heavy water instead of H2O somehow deuterium has to be added because the idea is you have to get a negative charge first and when you add a D plus in either in the for free form of D plus or in the form of D2O both will do once you get a negative charge here then that negative charge will quickly form a bond with D plus and you will get a D here so all you have need to do is you get a negative charge here the, the method of getting a negative charge we have seen before you have to add a active metal but you can't add sodium now at this point I must highlight that different metal shows different kind of reaction for example if you have Rx if you add sodium to this this would be a Woods reaction and the product would be RR right if you add magnesium to this then the product would be RMGX there will be no dimerization as we have in case of sodium the reason being magnesium will release more number of electrons and magnesium will form directly R- minus rather than R dot as happens in the case of sodium plus magnesium has a greater tendency to form complex so there will be a complex of R, Mg and X similar kind of complex of R sodium cannot be there it is unstable magnesium is divalent it can have two anions R- minus and X- minus together sodium is monovalent monovalent ions have relatively much lesser tendency to form a complex so sodium shows a different kind of reaction magnesium shows a different kind of reaction if we add zinc to this now as we have seen in the last reaction if we add zinc to this zinc is also a divalent metal so zinc will also release two electrons like magnesium so that will also form R- minus directly instead of R dot so there will be no dimerization as we have in case of Wood's reaction when we add sodium so the reaction would be you will have R- minus as you have in case of magnesium but with magnesium you have a complex and that complex is called Grignard reagent as I have talked to you before right you can go and revise that lecture of Grignard reagent this is how we prepare Grignard reagent you just have to add magnesium in Rx in a suitable solvent like ether right when you add magnesium the same thing happens Mag zinc, when, you, when we add zinc the same thing happens the zinc loses electron those two electrons goes into the antibonding of R R and then X minus leaves out leaves, leaves away the substrate and we have R minus but we don't have this complex like R Z and X as we have R M G X the reason being the zinc has a lesser tendency to form complex so this complex is not formed so when this complex is not formed then R minus cannot remain as it is right so it has to accept a proton from somewhere and it results in RH so as you can see the product of all the metals are different similarly if we add copper to this now if we add copper to this this will form a Gilman's reagent it will form R2CUX as we have RMGX because this Cu is in R2 uh, uh, this will form R2CuLi before adding copper you have to add Li Li first and then copper as we have seen this reaction in Corey House synthesis 
when we add aline then you have r2 cu aline copper is would copper would be added in the form of cui in the cuprous state cu plus li plus and then you have two are having two negative charges that's how the charge would be balanced now this is the copper also have a tendency of forming complex so copper will also form a complex now when copper forms a complex that r minus does not go for a reaction with h plus so rh is not formed in case of copper because there is a complex rh is not formed in case of magnesium because there is a complex and rh is not formed at all in case of sodium because r minus is not formed instead you have r dot so you have dimerization like this so this is these are the four common metals that you will encounter and these are the four different kind of reactions for corresponding those four different metals so this uh, i thought is important to be highlighted and i highlighted it and you bear this in mind right so the basic thing would be saying all metals will lose electron but depending upon the nature some will form free radical some will form negative ion and some will form complex and depending on that the reaction thereafter would change its course right so this is prima facie the method of preparation of alkanes and we have done that now there will be other method of preparations of alkanes basically there will not be methods of preparations rather there will be reactions of other functional group for example suppose i have a ketone right and i reduce this ketone then what i'll have is i'll get a alkane reduction means removal of oxygen and then you'll have hydrogen added you removed oxygen you added hydrogen now how that will happen we'll see but suppose this happens then you had a formation of alkane so we can consider this as a method of preparation of alkane but it will be more appropriate to consider this as a reaction of ketone so there will be other many many reactions in which hydrocarbon would be produced but i'm not teaching it because the right place would be to teach this reaction the right place would be the chapter um aldehydes and ketones carbonyl compounds so we will study there as this as a reaction of carbonyl compound so unnecessarily i'm not putting it here let it come at a proper place prima facie these are the reactions for the preparation of alkane now once we have done the preparation of alkane we can go to the reactions of alkane but before that let's solve one trivial problem based upon the last three reactions that we have studied 